You may not have realized it, but the U.S. has been in official control of the Internet since its development. But that may be about to change, and correspondent Doug McKelway tells us not everyone is happy about it. Its bland name, the Internet Corporation for Assigned Names and Numbers, belies its great power. ICANN controls much of the Internet, sending users to the right website and servers, assigning domain names and addresses. When its contract runs out in September of 2015, the Department of Commerce plans to turn over control of ICANN to the international community. Critics say it's a recipe for disaster. Make no mistake, threats to the openness and freedom of the Internet are real. Some authoritarian leaders, such as Vladimir Putin, have explicitly announced their desire to gain control of the Internet. Today, 35 GOP members of Congress wrote the Assistant Secretary for Commerce, Lawrence Strickling, asking him to explain the Obama administration's decision to give up control of ICANN. Yesterday, Strickling did little to ease the concerns of a congressional panel. No one has yet explained to me the mechanism by which any of these individual governments could somehow seize control over the Internet as a whole. You really don't explain think that Russia, look, Russia and China have made it very clear what they want to do to suppress Internet freedom. The president of ICANN has assured critics that plans do not permit an intergovernmental panel, even the UN, from controlling the Internet, and its design prevents central control. The genius of the Internet that was instilled in its architecture by its founders uh, is that no one can capture it. It's a network of networks. Critics say there are other concerns, short of outright Internet we get uh, uh, tens of thousands, if not millions, of cyber attacks a day to our government and to our private sector. And I have to believe that any relinquish of control, even the, the giving out of IP addresses and domain names, can be critical to our national security. Concern is not exclusive to Republicans. Well, I thought the system as it was running was doing a fine job. The president of ICANN says this change was planned long before President Obama took office and that while authoritarian governments can control what Internet comes into their country, they can't control what is beyond their borders. Brett? All right, Doug, thank you. Well, what do you think? Do you think the U.S. has control of the Internet? And if so, should it relinquish that control? Let me know at Facebook.com slash SR or on Twitter at Brett Bear. You can use the hashtag special.